Cat's Cradle, I got a very special letter this week in the mail. It was actually a memo attached to my electric bill. I have, I think they call it level pay, where I pay the same thing every month, and then every year uh, at my annual renewal date of that agreement, they look and see whether there's money left in my account or whether I owe them money, and then they tack that on and recalculate what my new payments will be for the coming year. Currently, my level pay is $107 a month, so I've sent them a check for $107 every month. But I noticed up here a little message that says, the Missouri Public Service Commission recently approved a rate change. Energy consumed beginning June 25th of 2011 will be billed at the new approved rate. If you are a budget billing customer, you will be notified a month in advance of any increase to your monthly amount. So I'm like, okay, I go over here and look in the normal bill section, say, what's it going up to? I know it's going up. You know, it never goes down. And I can't find it. I'm searching everywhere. Well, on the back of my bill, little bitty print. Let's see right over here. It says, now I had to search for it. Your budget account is being balanced. The new amount will be on your next bill. Any underpayment or overpayment will be included in calculating your new amount, which is expected to be wait for it, $173. Unbelievable. So I'm going from $107 to $173 a month. So I'm thinking of ways that I can reduce our energy usage. We, uh, we've gone from, we used to have our air conditioner set on 69 for years. We've inched that up uh, every few years you know, years, we take it, every year we take it up a, a degree or so, so now we're up to, during the day, 73 degrees. Uh, I just can't stand it any hotter than that, so I've got to find other ways to save money. I'm going to show you one of the ways uh, I found today. Cat's Cradle here. I took my son Evan out this morning. It's a beautiful day. It doesn't have to be hot. You can do it in the dead of winter. I baked bread on a 13 degree day last year, but you do need a, a sunny day with very few clouds, and that it is today. It's very sunny. I knew I'm, I'm trying to clean out my freezer so that I have room when this year's garden produces to have room to put things in there. So I took a package of eggplant out from last year that I wanted to thaw because I'm going to make eggplant dressing with rice and eggplant and sausage and cheese tonight for supper. And so this morning I got up and put on a pot of rice and now it's cooling. I don't believe in eating white rice if I don't have to unless I'm putting some very savory Chinese food over it. So this rice has a uh, diced onion, a little bit of uh, beef base, which is what restaurants use. You can use a bouillon cube if you want to. It has some red pepper flakes, salt, pepper, a little celery seed. It's going to be delicious when it's mixed with my eggplant and sausage for dinner. So I put it in my pot this morning. It took about an hour to cook in the sun oven. Now it's cooling, and then I'll mix it with the eggplant, sausage, and cheese for supper. So as long as my sun oven was out, I figure I might as well cook something else. So uh, we get back to the work week tomorrow, and I'd like to have some granola bars to put in my husband's lunch. I believe in making my own. They're the very, very best. I know what goes into them. There's no preservative. I'll post the recipe below so this video doesn't take very long to watch. Basically what's in them is whole oats, it's every, everything really is from food storage, whole oats, wheat germ, salt, a little bit of salt, whole wheat flour, brown sugar, then I've got my wet ingredients over here. I've got oil and honey. I put my oil in first so that my honey doesn't stick to my container. Just kind of move your oil around a little bit and then put your honey in, it won't stick. And vanilla, oil, honey, and vanilla in here. I'm going to crack a fresh egg from my hands in there. I'm going to stir that up with a fork. 
I'm going to put mix my dry mixture and put that in. I'm also adding roughly chopped raisins and pecans. When I get that all mixed up, that's all there is to it, I'm going to put it in my pan and show you what it looks like. This is a pan I use for my sun oven because it's dull. You want to use dull or dark to cook in your solar oven. I have spritzed it with an aerosol spray. Do not recommend this for long-term storage. It goes rancid fairly easily. I'm trying to use up what I have of it and then I'm not going to stock copious amounts of it. Also, since I said this is food storage, usually I would use a powdered egg in here and then everything would have come from food storage to make these granola bars. Uh, but my hens are ahead of me on eggs a little bit, so I'm going to use a fresh egg today. This is a great recipe, especially if you have a sun oven. If you don't have a sun oven, you of course can bake in a traditional oven. But it's using all items from food storage and cooking it with no power, only the sun. So it's a great recipe to have. Also, I'll tell you one more thing about the oil. I do not store much oil. If I wanted uh, to make this from long-term storage, I would simply melt the shortening. Uh, you could even cut the shortening in. It doesn't really matter. But I don't store oil very long-term either. So I'm going to mix this up, put it in the pan, and get right back to you. Okay. I have mixed up the granola and I have patted it into this, uh, this baking pan. I'm about to take it out to the sun oven. Just a couple of things. It's important that you press it down in this pan because you want all of the dry ingredients, especially the big pieces of oats, to make contact with the honey, oil, and brown sugar, and egg. And that's what's going to make it stick together and make a nice granola bar that you can cut and handle easily. Um, seems like there was something else I was going to tell you and can't remember. Anyway, let's go ahead and take this out uh, to the sun oven. I thought of what I was going to tell you. If you don't like pecans and raisins, you can do anything you want. You can do apricots and almonds or, you know, dehydrated apple and, you know, pistachios. What, whatever you want to do, it doesn't matter. If you don't like raisins or pecans, don't PM me. Just change it to suit your taste. It's really easy to do. You just take your other pan and you would set it crossways here and then you would cook two at one time. Really easy. You can, and you can stack this up as high as I mean, I could do another layer. I could do three layers. Our sun oven is about 225 right now, but we just set it out here, so I'm going to go ahead and close it. It'll go ahead and get up to temp. I'll latch the doors here and let her bake in the bright sun. I'll get back to you. All right, I just took my granola bars out of the sun oven. They baked perfectly. I cut one out. I do cut them while they're warm because they're soft and they're warm. They firm up just a little bit when they cool. But they're very easy to cut now that they're warm. You can see I've already pre-cut them. And they, if you um, put some oil or Pam on the bottom of your pan, then they just, they just come out very easily. I'll take another one out so you can see. They're very filling. And in this little pan, I cut uh, it, made, it made 20 little little bars like this, and with something to drink, uh, they're just incredibly filling. It is absolutely the best granola bar I have ever tasted. It took me a long time to decide exactly how to make them. The recipe is very forgiving. If you want to substitute some sesame seed for um, a little bit of the wheat germ or a little bit of the uh, oatmeal, you can do that. I do lots of things. I use dates in them. And, Dice up a little orange rind sometime. Um, like I said, it's very forgiving. You just want to keep the ratio of wet to dry about the same. If you tried my dry granola cereal recipe and loved it, uh, I think you'll love this too. I'm kind of funny. I don't make anything unless it's the best I've ever tasted. If I'm going to make potato soup, I want it to be the best potato soup I've ever tasted. And I work on a recipe until I get it just what I think is perfect. So I would not pass this recipe on to you if I didn't think it was the best granola bar recipe uh, I've ever tasted. So I hope you'll try it. Uh, it works great in the sun oven, works great in the traditional oven. Either way is fine. I love using the, three, the free uh, power of the sun, though. And it was just a perfect day to be at home baking and cooking in the sun. 
I hope this helps you and gives you some good ideas of things you can uh, make in your sun oven as well. Cat's Cradle.